This case is actually quite a, a straightforward case, contrary to propaganda that this is about uh, tramping down on media freedom. State advocate Billy Downer and News24 journalist Karen Morn made their first appearance before the Peter Maritzburg High Court on Monday the 10th of October to answer to the private prosecution former President Jacob Zuma has instituted against the pair. It was a brief appearance and saw the case postponed until early next year for the finalization of applications Downer and Morn have both bought to review and set aside the summonses they were served with last month. But what's this case all about? Here are five things you need to know. The events at the heart of this case date back to August last year. Zuma had a scheduled appearance in the Peter Maritzburg High Court on the 10th for his corruption case. His special plea challenging Billy Downer's title to prosecute him was supposed to be heard that day. But his lawyers wound up asking for a postponement because he was sick. On the afternoon of the 9th of August, Karen Morn requested and was given the papers by the state, including a medical note from Zuma's doctor. And the next day, News24 ran a story she had written based thereon. Zuma's position is that the document was confidential and that what happened amounted to a breach of the NPA Act's provisions when it comes to disclosure of information. Last year, Zuma opened a case with police against Downer. In April, the NPA announced it had taken a decision not to prosecute. They say the charges are meritless and baseless and essentially just an intimidation tactic. Zuma has now taken things into his own hands and is privately prosecuting both Downer and Morn. Morn and Downer have both lodged applications seeking to review and set aside the summons they were served with. Morn argues she only reported on the papers after they were formally before the court and public documents. She also argues that as Judge Pete Kuhn, who's presiding over Zuma's corruption case, has already found, there was nothing significantly confidential in the documents. Her and Downer say these proceedings are an abuse of the court process and that Zuma is essentially trying to evade his trial. Downer had also lodged an application seeking to increase the security that Zuma had put up for the trial from 90,000 Rand to 1 million Rand. The court on Monday heard though that this has now been settled, with Zuma having offered to put up 500,000 Rand instead and Downer having accepted this. Morn's review application was initially going to be heard today, but it's now been decided that it'll instead be heard in December, together with Downer's. And so the private prosecution proceedings have been postponed until February, pending the finalization of these applications. <laughs> Don't 